Hello, welcome. Our goal in this video is to get you ready to work with the unit circle and to create essentially a unit circle calculator that you can use to solve all types of problems. So get a ruler, get a compass, or use some paper clips or string or something to make a circle, right? Quick tip with paper clips, if you don't have a compass, you can link them together to form a radius of any length that you want have something to anchor your circle and then something to draw it and you can form a really nice circle. So go get the tools you need because in this video, you'll be drawing the unit circle a few times. All right, let's get started. So I'm assuming you have all your tools and you've already taken a moment to draw a unit circle. If you haven't, do that now. I like to start my investigation of the unit circle by reminding myself that it's centered at the origin and the radius is one. And that means that we have these key points here, one, zero on the axes right here, zero, one, negative one, zero, and zero, negative one. Those are our first key points. Then in order to really understand the unit circle, we should recognize that all we have to really utilize or quickly recite is the first quadrant. And the landmarks we're given are 30 degrees, 45, and 60 degrees, 30 45 and 60. So take your pen or pencil and try to estimate those three points. Where would they be in the first quadrant for 30, 45, and 60? Sketch those out and try to tell me where those points are on the coordinate plane. What is their exact location? So pause the video and try that out. Okay, so I'm going to start by sketching these points. 45 degrees is about there. I would say that uh, 60, say, is about here, right? And 30 is about there, half of 60. So this that's a little sloppy, that part. I'm not being precise there. But the location of these points, by the way, can quickly be found. So I'll show you that in a moment. But I just want to label it. Theta here is 30 degrees. Let me zoom in. I want to label these points in degrees and radians. So at the first spot, we've got theta equals pi over 6, which is 30 degrees. And then we've got theta equals pi over 4, which is 45 degrees. And then we have theta equals pi over 3, which is 60 degrees. So these are our three landmark points in the first quadrant that are used to build the whole unit circle template. And the points, watch how cool this is, the points for each of these, I'm going to label like this, so set my brackets here. So we'll do it the speed version first, and then we'll talk about the background. What's the speed version? Well, they're all fractions to begin with, separated by a comma, because they're points with x and y values. Every fraction has a two on the bottom. That's pretty cool, right? They're all over two. Then they go one, two, three, one, two, three. What? Well, start here. One, two, three, and then go the other direction. One two, three, and then da, 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 square root everything. Square root, square root. Well, if I square root a one, that's just one, I'll leave that alone. Square root of three, square root of two, square root of one is itself, and we're done. Those are our three points. Now, we'll show the background in a moment, but the idea is that you once you have these three points, because the radius of this circle is one, you also have the sine and the cosine, and I'll show that in a moment. But let me just say it this way. These numbers in a unit circle, they always represent the cosine. So x values of every point equals the cosine of any particular angle you're looking at or arc length. And we'll talk about that as well. And then all the y values here, here, and here represent the sine of whatever angle or arc length you're looking at. All right? So where do those numbers come from? Well, they come from special triangles. They come from the 30, 60, 90. That's our first triangle. So now we're going to sketch this out. We have a 30, 60, 90. That leads us to that first point, which is radical 3 over 2, 1 half, because of the Pythagorean theorem. Well, the hypotenuse of this circle, I'm, I'm going to quickly draw it here and then erase it, is one because it's the, the hypotenuse of this triangle, excuse me, is the radius of the circle. And the radius is one. So if you're dealing with a 30, 60, 90 triangle, right, 
and the hypotenuse is one, this side length right here is a half. It's half of the hypotenuse. And this right here is just radical three over two because it's a half times radical three. If you remember your ratios in a 30, 60, 90 triangle, uh, let's assume that we have some hypotenuse C. Well, this side is going to equal C over 2. And then this side is going to equal radical 3 times C over 2. Right? Those are the ratios in the 30, 60, 90 triangle. But that is essentially where the points come from. Now, for the pi over, pi over um, 3, Right, for pi over 3, that's um, this point up here. Let me show you this. Let's change color. For this one up here, it's also a 30, 60, 90 triangle, but turned around. Right, It's turned. So it's turned and flipped, I suppose I should say. And if we sketch that out, I'll, I'll sketch that out over here so it doesn't clutter up my unit circle. Something like this, right? Okay. This hypotenuse is 1. And for the same reasons, well, here are the 30 degrees is there. The 60 degrees is here. For the same reasons, this length is radical 3 over 2, and the x length is 1 half. So it's the same triangle turned. And then in the middle, let's get this line right here. This is a 45, 45, 90 triangle. All right? 45, 45, 90. So let's sketch that out. Something like this, maybe. Okay, this is 45, 45, 90. And in a 45, 45, 90, if the hypotenuse is 1, you can prove using ratios or algebra that the two side lengths are radical 2 over 2. So this is, you can kind of see this. I can do the best job here, but these three points are representing, are found, or could be found, I should say, using those special triangles that are also represented right here. All right, so. That's the first basic thing we should know about the unit circle. The seven key points are based on those angle measures, which are based on special triangles. The second thing we should know will show in the next video.